it's Karina, your virtual health coach, and I wanted to make a little video today about snack bars. Now there are a lot of different little snack bars and protein bars on the market, so I just wanna give you a little crash course in how to choose a nutritious snack bar. Thank you so much for watching. Let's get started. So this video is sponsored in part by the Santa Barbara Bar, and I really appreciate that they sent us a huge variety of flavors and bars so that our fitness presenters can enjoy them while they're in the middle of shooting fitness videos. So the reason that I accepted Santa Barbara Bar as a sponsor is because, as you're about to see, these are definitely a much more nutritious snack than a lot of these really common snack bars that I will be comparing them to. And I also have a couple of other items here to give you a point of reference. So let's start by meeting the players. We've got the Santa Barbara bar. I'm doing the coconut almond for my comparison. Then we've got this Protein Plus power bar, a strawberry Nutrigrain bar, and this Nature Valley crunchy granola bar. Now, the first objective for choosing a nutritious snack is choosing something with as many nutrients as possible. And we're gonna start by looking at the macronutrients. So I actually made this little chart here, comparing our different bars, and we'll just take them little aisle by aisle. So let's start with protein, because we know that we need protein in order to satisfy our hunger and serve the whole purpose of a snack, right? So Santa Barbara bar, eight grams of protein, almost two to four times as much protein as the Nature Valley and Nutrigrain bars. And the only one that can compete is the power bar. But a little later, I'm gonna talk about why the processed whey protein that they pack into bars like these is actually not doing you any favors and not giving the nutrients you need in order for your body to really use that protein the way that it's supposed to. Next up, I'd listed the fiber, although that's not super important. However, you do need to have some dietary fiber. And if you are eating something that's most made of natural foods, then that fiber content is already going to be there. Then we move over to sugar and carbohydrates, which we know we want to try and reduce in order to have a nutritious snack. So here you can just see that sugar and carbs wise, the Santa Barbara bar is our lowest value just across the board. Then when we get over into fat, one of the most easily confused and I think just demonized part of our diet is the fat. What you need to understand is that fats are not only the cleanest energy source for the body, they're also the slowest to break down and metabolize. So they'll actually give you a longer amount of energy because those fat molecules are not broken down as quickly as sugar. The other thing to remember is that healthy fats are really good for you and really important for you. So you don't wanna be alarmed by the high fat content on the Santa Barbara bar, because when we get into the ingredients a little bit, you'll see that these are super healthy fats that you do wanna have in your diet and that make a great snack because they fill you up. So the second item on our checklist of things to look for is as many nutrients as possible, this time talking about micronutrients. So that is vitamins, vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, enzymes, all of the items that don't usually show up on the actual nutrition fact label, but are equally, if not more important to consider. So the best way to get a high nutrient content is to eat nutrient dense foods. So those are your fruits, your vegetables, and just your natural minimally processed foods in general. Another great way to supercharge your micronutrients is superfoods. And that was one of the things that really uh, attracted me to the Santa Barbara bar. Each of the five flavors of these Santa Barbara bars contains various superfoods, things like chia seeds, pumpkin seeds, sunflower and sesame seeds. And the inclusion of these little nutrient dense foods is a really great way to know that you're getting a lot of micronutrients. 
So another thing I love is that when you actually look at the bars themselves, you can literally see all the little chia seeds, sunflower seeds, and other real food ingredients inside the bars. The third thing on our checklist is sugar content. So there is the amount of sugar, but then there's also the type of sugar. And there's a big difference whether a sugar is the naturally found sugar in something like a banana, or whether it is the processed sugar that we find in most of our candies or high fructose corn syrup and stuff like that. So first, just considering amounts of sugar. Remember that the Santa Barbara bar was pretty comparable with the other bars. It actually had lower sugar than the other bars we looked at. So just looking at amounts of sugar, we can see that the Santa Barbara bar has about half the sugar of a banana. Uh, almonds are there for a comparison on fat. We'll get to that in a second. And this Reese's down here, this big cup Reese's, has about twice as much sugar. Now, just for a point of reference, that 20 ounce Coca-Cola has 65 grams of sugar. So about three times as much sugar in that 20 ounce Coke as you would get in one of these Santa Barbara bars. So in terms of sugar and snacking, remember that you gotta stay away from high amounts of sugar because they're gonna give you a sugar rush, but they're also gonna give you a sugar crash. Not to mention it's really unhealthy for you to have lots and lots of sugar. So one of the biggest things I love about these bars is that they're really, really tasty and delicious. There are some other bars out there that probably have less sugar than this, but this is the tastiest snack bar that I have found like this. And again, with all of those superfoods packed in, you know you're getting something really nutrient dense. So I feel like a little bit of sugar that makes it taste amazing is worth it. Item four on the checklist is to avoid Franken foods. And what I mean is just avoiding those highly processed foods and trying to opt for things that are natural or as close to natural foods as they can be. One thing you can ask yourself is, was this thing I'm about to eat made in a kitchen or was it made in a factory? Because when foods are highly processed, like your Reese's cups and your sodas and your power bars, they go through a lot of processing. So literally these ingredients are inside of big machineries. And one of the biggest problems is that foods which are highly processed, go through a lot of this manufacturing, tend to be contaminated with heavy metals. And they've actually found that several of the different protein powders on the market are indeed contaminated with heavy metals. So that is the main reason that I recommend you avoiding those kind of processed food protein bars. And I would include protein powders in the mix. So even though I don't know for a fact that this particular bar is contaminated with heavy metals, I just know that the more processed the ingredients are, the more likelihood there is that these ingredients are contaminated. Not to mention, the more that you process a food out of its natural state, the more it loses the nutritional benefits that we want to get from eating it. So as much as you can opt for things which are minimally processed and as close to their natural state as possible, it's gonna be a really good step in the right direction. So just for a little frame of reference on that, uh, I just wanna take a quick look at the Power Bar ingredient list. Now, it would take me a whole other video to actually sit down and go through each of these ingredients, but you should be able to kind of glance at an ingredient list like this and know that this is a highly processed product, especially when you see things like soy protein isolate, whey protein isolate, non-fat milk, natural flavor. These are all indicators of a highly processed product. Similarly, if we take a quick glance at the Nutrigrain bar ingredient list, we see the same thing, highly processed Franken foods. All right, so we've got guar gum and carrageenan, and these are fillers. They're not even real foods. Artificial colors like Red 40. And just in general, you need to understand that when you eat these processed foods, many of them also contain MSG or hidden names of MSG, which a lot of protein powders also contain. And they also contain genetically modified ingredients or GMOs, which again is maybe a whole other topic for another video. But one of the things I love 
about the Santa Barbara bars is that they're actually non-GMO certified, and it even says so right on the label. So that's just another really big indication to me that this is a good nutritious snack. So in closing, I just wanna show you these Santa Barbara bars in a little bit more detail. I do have a 15% off coupon code for you on top of the discounts that they already offer. So if you order them in bulk, they offer all of these great discounts. Lots of awesome flavors. Peanut chocolate cherry, dark chocolate almond, cranberry white chocolate, mango lemon, and coconut almond. And I'll be honest, I think that the coconut almond is actually my favorite. Now, I love chocolate, but I was amazed at how delicious the coconut almond was, which is awesome. So I thought it would be like the plain one, but it was actually really, really good. So we've had these bars on the set while we're filming fitness and yoga videos, and everyone who's tried them has just loved them. So I hope you'll consider giving them a try. If you do, be sure to let me know if you like them. Again, we've got that coupon code below. I really wanna thank Santa Barbara one last time for sponsoring this video and sending us all of these delicious bars. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and you'll come back and see me again soon.